inches. So they, they would have taken a straight piece of duct and they would cut slits in it about every inch all the way around. Then they bend tabs, one tab in, one tab out. Then they secure it with strap with the three or four screws in there. But when you look at this, you can see all the, the holes in this, this assembly. Um, and then we, they would take a piece of flexible duct, uh, I don't have the insulation hanging on here, and just secure it with a strap. Okay? We have tested dozens of, of these type of duct systems in the industry and, and we're probably losing between 40 and 50 percent of our conditioned airflow through duct losses. Okay? So this, uh, these, these systems are <coughs> still predominantly out there. Uh, more commonly as we see this type of connection detail where we have a, a starter or takeoff collar and the collar has a piece of weather stripping on the back of it. They have, it's an adhesive back, so they peel the paper and they stick it to the main trunk, secure it three or four screws, and relying on this weather strip to make that connection airtight. And then bring the liner over, secure it, tape it, and make that airtight. Um, but here's a good example where the, the collar, depending on the diameter that you're connecting to, see how it's really puckered out there? You know, a lot of cases I'll see even even if you put multiple screws in there, this thing just kind of scallops and, and uh, doesn't really sit totally flush. If we were to pressurize this duct, we'd feel some leakage happening in around here. Okay. So that leakage might be small, very minor, maybe five or six cubic feet per minute, real tiny at that location. But if you have, you know, 20 or 30 of these type of connections throughout a house, that little 5C bend starts adding up. Okay. And then ideally, you know, one of the best sealing methods is this mastic product. Okay, the mastic is a paste product that uh, comes in a, I buy it in, in half gallon buckets because I don't use much of it. These guys buy it in two gallon buckets. Um, so you dip your brush in that, that uh, product, uh, it's got fibers embedded into it, and when you paint it over all these joints, it makes it, makes it airtight. When it dries, it's, it's a permanent seal. So 